And for today, I'm going to share with you um, the price analysis of some of the top coins. Okay, so without further ado, let's go to the topic. So, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, EU, Stellar, Litecoin, Cardano, Monero, and Tron price analysis, November 12. Okay, so Nikolai Storonsky, you know, CEO and co founder of Ripple Limited. A digital banking provider with a user base of 2 million has said at the Web Summit 2018 in Lisbon that large institutions are showing the little interest in digital assets. Any new technology takes time to catch up and become relevant to everyone. Um, even the internet took time to grow to its market scale. Consensus founder Joseph Lubin has said that blockchain might take a little longer than the internet to reach mass adoption. Venture capital investor Tim Draper, in a recent panel discussion, reiterated his previous call that Bitcoin will reach the price of $250,000 per coin by 2022. He believes that with mass adoption of Bitcoin, people are likely to switch from fiat currencies that are bound by a specific geography, geography to cryptocurrencies in which turn have a universal acceptance. The recently concluded U.S. midterm elections have seen a number of pro-blockchain politicians being elected to office, which is a positive sign. Though the market movement is slow now, the future looks encouraging for the nascent asset, asset class. Okay, for the Bitcoin USD pair, the dip below $6,400 was purchased on November 11, which shows buying at lower levels. However, Bitcoin is facing overhead resistance from both moving averages, which indicates that buying dries up at higher levels. Okay, so positional traders should avoid trading when the range is tight and shrinking. A large well-defined range provides an opportunity to buy low and sell high. However, the Bitcoin USD pair is not allowing such an opportunity. If the bulls push the price above $6,831, the digital Currency is likely to invite short covering, propelling the price further to 7,400 and above that to 8,400. On the other hand, if the bears break down the critical point support of 5,900, it might result in panic selling, dragging the pair to the lower levels of 5,000 to 5,450. Therefore, traders can keep the stop loss on their long positions at 5,900. So that is for the Bitcoin USD pair, and the next one is for the Ethereum uh, USD pair. So Ethereum is not showing any signs of a trend. Investors are looking to sell at the current levels, and the new money doesn't want to enter until there is a trend. So the price, the moving averages, and the RSI are all flat. Okay, so here's the chart. The first sign of a trend will be when the ETH USD pair escapes the tight range of $188 to $249. An upside breakout will indicate that the bulls have the upper hand and a new uptrend is likely. A breakdown of the range will indicate the pan that panic has gripped the owners and they are dumping their holdings. We recommend traders wait for a breakout of $249 before initiating any long positions. Aggressive positions can also be taken if the support at $188 sees strong buying by the bulls until then. We suggest traders remain on the sidelines. Okay, so that is for the Ethereum USD pair. The next one is for the Ripple XRP USD pair. So Ripple is finding support just above the moving averages, which is a positive sign. The moving averages continue, continue to slope with the RSI in the positive ter territory. This confirms that the bulls have the upper hand on the short term. Okay, so here's the chart. Um, if the bulls succeed in breaking out of $0.565, a rally to the first target objective of $0.625 is likely, where traders can book partial profits. 
if this level is crossed, the rally can extend to 0 0.6, uh, 0 0.7644 US dollars. Our bullish assumption will be invalidated if the XRP USD pair turns around and breaks below the moving averages. In such a case, a drop of 0 0.4 to 646 dollars, followed by a fall to 0 0.37185 dollars, is probable. Therefore, traders can trail their stop loss higher to 0 0.45 dollars. Okay, so the next one is for Bitcoin Cash USD. So Bitcoin Cash has pulled back from the overhead resistance at $660. We anticipate a strong support between the 20-day EMA and the $500, which is the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level of the recent rally. The bounce from the current level might retest $660 once again. A breakout will start new uptrend, whereas a failure will keep the virtual currency in a large range of $408 to $660. Okay, so contrary to our opinion, if the USD um, BCH or USD pair makes $500, the upward move will lose strength. The next support level on the downside is $460, and if this level breaks, a complete retracement. Of the recent rally to $410 is probable. There are four traders who have partial pos positions left can keep a stop loss of about $480, uh, which is just below the 20 50-day AMA, AMA, SMA. So EOS USD pair. So EOS has been trading close to the midpoint of the range for the past three days. With mo both moving averages have flattened out and are close to each other, the RSI is also close to the 50 levels, which shows equilibrium between demand and supply. We won't be able to find any new trades for as long as the EOS USD pair stays between $5 and $6. If it breaks out of this tight range, it will increase the probability of a rally to $6.82. A reversal will be confirmed when the price sustains above 6.82 for the three days. On the other hand, a break below $5 can result in a dip to the next support at $4.49, below which a retest of the $3.87 will be on the cards. Therefore, traders who own long positions can keep a stop loss of $4.9 on their existing positions. For the stellar um, USD pair Stellar is showing promise as it has formed an ascending channel. It triggered our buy suggested in the November 7 analysis. Um, it is currently facing resistance at the, at the resistance line of the channel, yet it remains positive because both moving averages are sloping up. Hence, any pullback is likely to find support at the trend line and below that at the 20 day EMA. If the stellar USD pair breaks above the channel, it is unlikely to pick up momentum, break out of the immediate resistance at $0.30 and a rally towards its target objective of $0.36. For now, we suggest keeping the stops at $0.2. We shall watch for a couple of days and then raise the stops higher. Okay, so the Litecoin USD pair. Litecoin continues to slide after turning down from the downward trend of the descending triangle. It might retest the critical support zone at $47 to $49. Once again, this zone is held on four previous occasions. Hence, we anticipate the support sold once again. Nevertheless, traders left with partial long positions on our recommendations can close them at $50. If the bull succeed in holding the critical support zone and show signs of a rebound, we might suggest to go long again. Our bullish view will be invalidated if the bear sinked the Litecoin USD pair below $47. In such a case, the downtrend will resume and can push prices to the next support levels at $40 and $32. Okay, so ADA USD pair, Cardano. For the past three days, Cardano has been trading close to the moving averages that have flattened out. The RSI is also just above the 50 levels. All these show a balance between the buyers and the sellers. A new trend will start on a breakout of 0 
uh, cents or on a breakdown of the support at 0 0.06 .06 cents between these two levels random and volatile price action is likely to uh, continue the first sign of strength will be if the cardano usd pair sustains above 0.8 cents however we suggest traders wait for a new uptrend to start before initiating any long positions okay so let's check further cardano usd pair So the Monero uh, USD pair, let's check this one. So the attempt to pull back from close to $102 is facing resistance at the 20-day EMA. If the bulls fail to scale the moving average, Monero is likely to drop to the bottom of the tight range at $100. The XMR USD pair has successfully held the support at $100 on a facing basis on three previous occasions. Therefore, we expect it to offer a strong support this time too. However, contrary to our expectations, if the bears break below the range and fall to the critical support at $81 is probable. On the upside, the bulls will gain strength if the price sustains above $112. We shall turn positive above $128. Currently, the virtual currency is not showing any reliable patterns that can be traded. Right? So the Tron USD pair. So the range in Tron has been shrinking. It's currently trading between 0 0.02 cents and 0 0.02. Uh, I mean 0 0.021 cents and 0 0.025 cents. The RSI has also been moving between the levels of 40 and 60. If the bulls defend the 0 0.021 cents, the Tron USD pair will again attempt to move to the top of the range on 0 0.25 cents. However, the bears break below the bottom of the tight range. A drop to the critical support at 0 0.0183 cents is probable. A break below the support will assume the downtrend. We shall turn positive on the digital currency on a breakout and close above 0 0.03 cents. Until then, we suggest traders remain on the sideline. So those are the um, price analysis uh, of the top coins on November 12, right? Okay, guys, so that is brought to you by Preferred Currency News and Cointelegraph. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, um, keep in mind uh, to subscribe at preferredcurrency.news and also um, include DAV token in your research list. Okay, subscribe at preferredcurrency.news for $15 a month or $180 a year and include DAV coin or Dev coin, dev token to your research list. Okay, so before I go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor, and everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto. So you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself. All right. So this has been Vic once again. Um, uh, signing off. Bye bye.